there's there's somebody running for Congress in Florida, Maria Luber, who's running as a QAnon candidate, essentially. Uh, Donna, do you uh, do you believe there's any legitimacy to the theories that QAnon promotes? Absolutely not. Maria, do you believe there's any? I right. didn't hear your question. Sorry. Sure. My question was, do you believe there's any legitimacy to the theories espoused by QAnon? I, I don't know what that means. I just know that what the threat we have in this country is socialism. And I believe and I think that if you are a journalist with integrity, you would ask Ms. Shalala why she is a socialist and why one day she is one thing and the next day she's another. You do not play with the word socialism. She said to Jackie Nesprol in Channel 6 that she was a pragmatic socialist. But then she tweeted after saying, oh no, that she had misspoken, that she was not that, that she was a pragmatic capitalist. You know, with socialism and capitalism, you simply do not play. She is whatever she needs to be at the time. And that is why we don't have respect for her I'll give you 15 seconds because we're already over time. Um, You know, this is the desperate uh, language of a person that's losing an election. I am not, I am a a capitalist through and through. I have created more jobs in this community than anyone running for office. I am clearly a capitalist, but I believe Not true. True in social security. I believe in Medicare. I believe in Medicaid. And I certainly believe in the Affordable Care Act. And I believe we should ban the assault weapons. Actions, not words. She did not vote in February of 2020 against a resolution that was presented by Mario diaz Ballard to denounce socialism. Is not your words, it's your actions. She did not vote, period. I have to answer this, Jim. I'm I'm telling you that that last part's not getting in anyway, because because we're already well over time and I've got a heart out. So go ahead. I mean, you can respond if you just want to. Yeah, let me respond. I am the co-sponsor of that resolution. You cannot accuse me of that. My name is on that resolution. We have not voted on that resolution yet. Yes, you have. It's not true. Yes, you You have voted. You don't understand Congress. Everybody voted except you and Debbie. I am the co-sponsor. Debbie is a co-sponsor of that resolution. You didn't vote. It was on a procedural, not on the resolution. We haven't voted on the resolution yet. Let me, let me, just, let me, just, ask, let me just ask you, let me just, because maybe I'll do an extra for, for the web. But I let me think just you ask should, because this is very important. You, no, no, so let's, so let's stay with this for a second, Maria. So, you, so this issue of socialism. So, you know, you said that it's a very serious issue, and I agree with you. But is it not also serious to sort of, uh, how would you address the the critics who would say that what you're doing is you're exploiting the pain of those who a- experience authoritarianism and repression in Latin America, who come here, who see that word and are triggered by it, and yet at the same time you're exploiting it to try to make political points. When Listen. Shalala at previous events has said, I'm a pragmatic capitalist, a pragmatic capitalist. Listen, Jim, is not what you say is what you do. I am not exploiting anything, I'm just going by her actions. And there are three examples that I can give you. Number one, she has never denounced AOC and democratic socialism, never. She has never denounced when, like she said, that it was a resolution, but she did not vote. She walked away and then she came back in February of 2020. The resolution was presented by Mario Diaz Villar. Right, why? Why? Be- why? Because I'm explaining to you why. Because she didn't know at the time if Bernie Sanders was going to be the nominee. So she was hedging her bets. And number three, she votes with Bernie Sanders 90% of the time. If she denounces Bernie Sanders and AOC, or she would have done it, then we would believe that she is Donna, not. She is whatever she needs Maria, to be at the Donna, time. Go ahead, go ahead. Look about, uh, Maria, Bernie Sanders is a senator. I don't vote with him. I vote with the members of the House of Representatives. I did not walk away from a vote on a resolution that I am one of the lead co-sponsors of. Yes, you so did. So let's get this straight. But yes, listen, you did. let's talk about the pain of our community. While I was standing on the border of Columbia, talking to people 
who were crossing the border from Venezuela, poor, sick, terrified people, you were interviewing Maduro and giving him good publicity. I was standing there with the people of Venezuela. I have fought for the people of Venezuela. I helped to pass, I was the lead sponsor to pass TPS for Venezuelans. I have denounced Bernie Sanders long before that resolution ever came in. But to lie about my position on that resolution is unacceptable. Get your facts Madam, straight, and I hope you know the difference between the House of Representatives speak and the speak louder than words. You did not vote, and it was presented by Mario diaz Ballart. Everybody in Congress voted except you and Debbie Mercosul Power. Period. That's the empirical evidence. Now you can have political posture all you want because it's convenient and that you are the problem. We are the solution. Politicians like you, people that just want right. to amass power right. and money yeah, and stay and not serve the constituents. We're, come on, come on, Jim. Go ahead, go ahead. If you want the last 30 seconds and then we're done. No, I'm not gonna bother. Okay. That's, that's, that's just pure politics of a desperate politician. Okay. I, I am a public servant. I have never been a politician. You've never been thank a public you both. servant. I want to thank you both for this time. All right. Thank you very much. I'll Thanks figure out how I'm going from here.